right, the first thing you want to do is take a sheet of paper, write your name and your code on the back. Flip it over and you want it like this in front of you. You don't want it side to side. You want it long ways. That's called vertical. And we're going to paint this entire paper. So I have a large paintbrush and quite a bit of paint to get me going. You are only going to paint it one color, so pick a color that you like. Dip your paintbrush in the paint. You don't need to get your paintbrush wet. And you just want to start painting. When you paint, always remember to drag your paintbrush across. And if you need to go back the other way, you flip your paintbrush and then go back this way. You never want to push it. That always is the problem and that's what hurts the hair of the brush and it, then it becomes a sloppy brush. So you can see I'm going fast but I'm still dragging, flipping, dragging, flipping. And it's okay if you get it on the placemat, that's what they're for. You just want to make sure the entire paper is covered with paint. And you want to move at a speed that is fairly quick but not too fast that it's going to look sloppy. But you just want the paint to stay wet for the next step. Make sure you get all these edges, smooth it out as you go. Go in the same direction the entire time. Do not switch directions. That also makes the painting look sloppy, as if you have a bunch of directions, if you go up and down to the angle or side to side. Keep it one direction. I'm going side to side. Put my paintbrush down, and then I'm going to take a paint scraping tool has some grooves here and has a handle right here and what you're going to do is you are going to make a design in the paint using the scraping tool. This can be any design that you want. You can go wavy, you could go straight. You can overlap designs. What you don't want to do is go too crazy. Kind of, you want to know when to stop. When it looks like you can't tell what anything is anymore, then that's when you need to stop. So you can move your paper around to get the design that you want. good to me. So what I need to do is I need to get this paint off. I could get a paper towel and wipe it off or I can go to the sink and rinse it off and then just let it dry in the drying rack. And I need to clean my paintbrush and get rid of my paint. Okay? And this needs to dry before we can do anything else with it. Alright, so I have a white sheet of paper and I have a stencil of a face. So this is a girl because I am a girl. If you are a boy, you would pick a boy. And they're all the same, just to keep it easy. And this is called a profile view of a face. It's a sideways view of a face. We're not looking directly at the front of it. Um, and you want to take this stencil and lay it onto a white sheet of paper. And you want to trace it. So hold it tight with one hand. Trace it onto the paper. You're going to have to be really careful around the lips, all these tiny little shapes here on the edges and just take your time get it all the way around. Alright, take your stencil off and inside this shape I want you to draw items from your list that you created of your likes and your dislikes, okay? So here are my likes, animals, dogs, Starburst candy, art, dance theater, and dresses. I don't like chocolate, math, cruel, people or being cruel to animals and I don't like scary movies. Okay, so you want to pick which ones that you want to put in here. If you want to put them all in, in here, that's fine. Um, and you just want to start drawing inside the face. Now it doesn't matter 
We're not going to draw eyes. We're not going to draw any details. We just want it to be full of our likes and our dislikes because we're showing our identity. So you want to draw with a pencil first and draw light till you get it right. Okay? So I'm just going to start drawing. And I'm going to keep going until I'm finished. Alright, once you have everything drawn out, if you would like to, you could outline it with Sharpie, but you don't have to. Um, you want to color this in, so you want to think about what's going to be appropriate for all this stuff. If you have a lot of big shapes, then maybe you can get away with uh, markers or crayons. If you have a lot of tiny shapes, you might want to think about colored pencil, just because um, they have a nice tiny tip where you can really get into those little itsy bitsy areas. So you want to decide how you want to do it and go from there. I think I'm going to pick colored pencil. I'm going to outline with a skinny sharpie first, but like I said, you do not have to. So this will take you a while if you want to do this. So if you already feel like you are behind or running slow, maybe skip this part for this assignment. All right, so now I have finished coloring all of my objects that I like and that I don't like and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut out that side view of the face. So you want to be careful especially like around the lips and the nose um, that you don't cut off any of those features. Remember when you have to cut on a curve you turn the paper not the scissors. Scissors kind of stay in the same place. It's smart to cut off big chunks at a time so you have more space to put your scissors back in. your scraps please and then you want to get your painted paper back in front of you should be dry by now where we scraped the paint away and made a design and you want to glue your face drawing onto the paper like this so take your face you want to make a frame around the edges, so come in just a little bit from the edge so you don't have a glue mess when we flip it over. Go around the entire thing. And then give it some glue in the center as well. And I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the nose to make sure the nose sticks down and a little dot of glue here on the bang. put this on the drying rack to dry, let that glue dry, and we are all complete with our self-portrait that describes our likes and our dislikes.